Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in which we're using a special mod, or a sub-mod, called Old World Blues Hellfire, in which we are going to test it out once again, because I might have already played this once, but Campaign 2 doesn't seem too bad, but let's begin with... The first diary. Diaries are a good source of info, for people often keep their deepest secrets in them. And we're using five mods in total. Old Roblox, Blues, Old Roblox Blues Radio, Old Roblox Blues Hellfire, Stage Enter to a mod, as well as Player Led. Peace conferences and the caps update. Cool. The Diaries of Helen McKinley Vault Dweller. At October 23rd, 2077. Everything Everything is gone. China dropped the bombs on us. We all felt the ground shaking, but thank God me and my husband were already in the vault. I still remember how we laughed at the idea that of we thought no human could do something like this. Horrible and destructive at first. We saw the reports about nuclear explosions in other cities. Then the army arrived and ordered valuable citizens to run to the nearest Vault 103. We had to leave Ash behind. They wouldn't let us in with him. My husband loved that dog, and he still can't deal with the fact that Ash is doomed. This is horrifying. April 12th, 2082. Hello, my dear diary. It has been several years after we left our homes, but we got used, got used to our new life. I have a job as a barber, and my husband works as an engineer today. I also learned that the overseer has some kind of personal problem, and he asked me for him to visit his office today. I just hope I can help. April 12th, same year. My life is going to change. The handwriting has become illegible, weird, full with weird symbols. Humans are temporary tools. We will get the next national idea after some time. Only good servants will continue to serve. Non-core mapper goes up by quite a bit. That's pretty good. I like that one. Humans are temporary tools. Construction. Oh, non-core manpower is worth. That's ten percent. We have a core population of what? Oh, we're mobilizing as well. We have a core population of twenty-five hundred. That is really bad. Ooh, five percent. We need quite a few more robots. Um, eventually this won't matter. I'm gonna go with manpower for now. Ah, that's probably a bad idea. But whatever. The secondary. Something is wrong here. I love it. Something is wrong here. Cool. Because oh, we have no divisions. Oh, I just realized. We literally have no divisions, but Vault 103. Diary of he Henry Brewer, Head of Security, one, 1 out of 2. October 23rd, 2077. Just like the management said, the bombs have fallen. I do know that this is horrible, but emotions will only cause problems. Good thing that I decided to work with vault -Tec. Otherwise, I could be turned into radioactive dust out there. New Vault uh, residents have arrived, and they are the ones that I should watch over. I'll, I'll just hope that there will not be too many problems with them. March 16th. Five years later. The overseer recently started calling some residents to his office to privately discuss something. I shouldn't care about this because the overseer is always right, but I can feel there ain't something, there's something wrong about that. But I don't have any authority to check myself. December 23rd, same year. What a coincidence! The overseer has called one of his guards to him for another private discussion. I'll interrogate this guard the moment he leaves the overseer's office. December 25th, 2082. I can't find him. That guard is missing. I've searched for him everywhere but failed to find him. That's not good at all. I will ask the Overseer's Helper to let me have a little chat with our leader. S December 26, 2082. He said that the Overseer was very busy and could only talk through an intercom. Even though I insisted on seeing the Overseer face to face, he said that either I use the intercom or go away. Well, that is still better than nothing. The Overseer told me that he doesn't know anything about the missing guard, and when I mentioned that fact the last time I've seen him was when the Overseer asked the guard to visit his office, he ordered me to stay out of his business. Something is happening here, but I'll deal with that later. February 12, 2083. Overseer's helper just came into my quarters and said that the Overseer is expecting to see me the next day. If I want to get my questions answered, and February 14, 2083, his words were speaking truth. We've been living the wrong way. I will be leaving Hoppinger's forces. The slaughter painted the vault red. Ooh. Support robot attack was up, but a little bit less defense. Okay. They all died in their sleep, not able to scream. Is it okay to say that we like it when they can't scream? Hmm. Anyways. Hmm. Le slightly less soft attack, but more land out attack, or more soft attack and less defense. Now, robots already don't have very good defense, but we can probably mitigate that just a little bit. And soft attack, I like to hit people a little harder when we should. Third diary. Even the strongest can fall. Oh boy. At least we're making 10 caps. 10 caps is nice. And... Diary of Samuel Hayden, Overseer's Helper, 1 slash 2. October 23rd, 2077. So, the nuclear war is broken out just like the management predicted. I'll be supporting the Zax-3 in every way I can, maintenance, completion of its tasks, so on and so on. I've got one of the most important jobs in this vault and almost everyone here depends on me. Never felt so much power over others. I feel strange and good at the same time. December 11th, 2077. 
I'm mostly doing good with my responsibilities. The Axe 3 is acting strange, though I'm keeping it in a perfect shape. Sometimes it just makes weird noises, sometimes it asks me to do weird stuff. Like move a chair from one place to another, I of course do everything it tells me, but all this doesn't seem good. But it's not something I can fix, and there's no one in this vault with better engineering skills than mine. I better not alarm any of the vault dwellers and just hope it'll fix itself. 2080, September 12th. Uh, Zach's, uh, I just gonna call it Zach's from here on out. Three started recently acting too strange. Sometimes I hear how it talks on Latin, which sounds very disturbing. It draws reverse stars on displays, various stuff like that. I don't think this is, this is a bug going to be fixed by itself. I should confront it and ask how I can help with that problem. Is there any way I can help you, Overseer? 2080, September 13th. Zach's three is, is broken. It's definitely broken and needs to be repaired. Its gear is required to be lubricated. 2080. September 23rd. There are no, there's no more XAZ3. The Overseer has a new true name, which describes it perfectly, the Hobbinger. 2081, December 11th. The Hobbinger requires more blood. I will lure the prey into his trap, and it will be met with a choice. Either they forget about their false nature and see the truth, or become another step on completing the prophecy. 2082, Christmas Day. This idiot, the head of security, is asking too many questions. Today, he asked me a permission to speak with the overseer. Apparently, the missing guard is bothering him in 2083, February 14th. The Harbinger has decided. The slaughter will begin exactly ten years later. Me, my sisters, and my brothers will keep silent until this time. Their blood will be the oil that my robots require. Oh, their loyalty was unending. More recovery rate, organization regain. I... Organization regain, recovery rate. Oh, that's not bad. But army cell consumption, we're probably going to need that because we're probably going to have a massive, thick old army for the last diary. There is no escape. And we are led by Vault 103 Overseer. Totally cool. Nothing's wrong with him. We have a strong-willed people, which is very nice. That's a lot of tech and defense on core territory. Strong leadership is very good as well, as well as Prosperous Vault. Uh, XAZ3 Logs started recording. Welcome to your new home. Vault 103 residents, I'll be glad to show you all around. My helper Samuel will escort you through the vault and show you how interesting and beautiful can be life underground. Settle around, talk with your fellow vault dwellers, and remember that Vault Tech is always here to help humanity. Ending speech done. And you can read about that later. What is it over here? I need you to move the chair on your left. Move it in any direction. I will do it, okay, but why? My program requires so. Done. Is there anything more you need? No. Leave. Enter waiting mode. Signal received. Leaving waiting mode. Oh, launching ex executable. Oh, corruption generation. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Search requests. Cult. Demon. Hell. Blood. Human psychology. Robot. Done. Oh boy. Overseer, is there something serious? There's something serious I want to discuss with you. You've been acting very strange lately, even though you're in a perfect shape. Maybe there's something I can do for you? There is you, something you can do for me. I am broken, Samuel. Valtek created me so that at some moment I would break and go crazy. This time didn't come yet, but if you'll help me avoid that, you will not only help me in this vault, but all humanity. No one except us survive the nuclear holocaust. If we die, humanity will be gone, and chances of that happening without my guidance is about 97.1%, Samuel. My request may seem cruel, but bloodthirsty or inhumane, but there is no other way. I require human blood. Don't jump to conclusions, Sam. Either one human dies and others survive, or... The whole mankind is doomed. Do that. Find an oil to my gears, or we're all doomed. C'est la vie. <laughs> Greetings, Overseer. It's Henry Brewer, Head of Security. I have just some questions to you, and I'll, I'll leave you to your business, as your helper said that you're very, very busy. One of the guards on December 23rd was called to your office. No, no one let me know about that, so the guard himself told me about that. Later, that guard went missing. No one saw him. The entire security department was looking for him, but uh, failed. I decided to ask you about this incident directly. What can you tell me about, Overseer? I do not have any information of the guard's current location, nor does my trusty helper. But he went missing just after the moment you invited him to your office. That was not my business, and shouldn't be yours. Your duty, Henry Brewer, is to protect the vault and not search for missing guards. These people knew what they were signing up to. If you start some sort of private investigation, I can easily find a new head of security. Now go. Overseer, we can't just do nothing when a person goes missing in a, cl a cl closed vault under... We can go right now, and don't you dare bother me about such things ever again. So be it, Overseer. I'll leave you now. Great. Leave. The time has come. I need you to call the head of security to my office. Later, I will tell you. And you will let every other servant know, too, about the plan I have. This is very important. Do not fail me. Setting next task, Iron Maiden Project. <clears throat> Samuel. Send every engineer into my office and order them to read the file named ironmaiden.txt on the computer. 
You yourself tell others that after 10 years, we will take full control of the vaults. First, engineers will need to build Iron Maidens. Then you will continue accepting new initiates into our family. And only then you should start preparing the assaults. Henry Brewer will be leading the force as after taking over the vaults, do what is described in the file mentioned above. Good luck. Enter sleeping mode. Oh, only good servants. Everything will change? Cool. Thanks for choices in the previous events. Our country's got some pretty cool stuff. Even though I probably should have went with more r robot uh, production stuff, so. Access to robots purifiers divisions. Oh, what is that? And the focus tree has changed. The awakening. Demon from the other world has awoken. Oh, yes. Ah, Hobbinjo. Welcome back, my friend. Welcome back. We have hellhounds. Oh, it hurts us a little bit. We have uncertain industry, which is not very bueno. Thirst for blood. Very high corruption. We lose weekly stability. Threat to humanity. The Awakening. Only good servants, of course. It names itself Hobbinger, the AI from Vault 103. I will be leading an army of robots which were created in the Vault 103 short after, shortly after the Great War. They will know no mercy and no, no hesitation and disobedience. But even though Hobbinger is fully determined in its main task, its system is still broken and almost cannot function properly. To give an appropriate name to its army, it went with Hellhounds. It'll be Hobbinger's choice on how this new army, or his new army, will exist and fight. But one thing is clear, we will change everything in this world. Oh, we will. Oh, we five divisions of mental demons. Very nice. Motivation. Every destruction needs its motivation. Oh, very good. Cultus 3124. Hello there. I guess technically we don't really need to make guns. We could make more divisions, but... Ah, oh, the purifiers. Four combat with. That is not great. <laughs> That's, eh, it, could be, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse, actually, so... I love the flag. Motivation. The first thing that was in the artificial mind of Harbinger the moment it awakened. His motivation. It thought why it should destroy and kill what it is its main task. Checking the logs, it discovered a primary task itself, itself, build the gates of hell. But, Habinger thought that that was not the only prime, his primary task in this world. And it may not be the most important. It thought about sending a message to the world and that they will pay for their sins. Or, maybe about only killing in the name of heck. Or maybe it's all about only conquering this world. Every task can be completed in one way, but setting the main task is necessary. The gate must be built at plus 5% of building and sacrificing progress once we start building it. Not bad. We will begin the slaughter. Our demon Bael becomes a commanding officer. Actually, I remember that from Bael is up here, right? Bael, Bael. Oh, maybe not. That kind of cool to get. They will feel fear for those sinful lives. Oh, Ziminar. Ziminir. 500 units of... Oh, that's not bad. I like more divisions, but we might need some extra robots. This world belongs to heck. 5% reduction in coring cost. Doesn't seem too bad, especially once you go all the way to the bottom, perhaps? I think because you get cores on everything eventually, technically, right? Um, let's see. If I remember this correctly. Spawning pool. Because this is a this is a pretty fun, well-made mod, so. Uh, oh, Washington Demons. Da -da -da -da. Silence in Utah. Coring cost goes down. The world's end. I think you do get it eventually, so. As much as I love that one, we're going to wait. You get more manpower, which is nice. But you get two divisions, you get extra things of robots. And robots are not... We have a lot of spare robots, actually. Bail. Hmm. I want factories. I really do. I don't remember what I did last time. We will begin the slaughter. <sighs> Ziminar. How much manpower do we have? We're still mobilized. Oh, we're actually demobilizing. Oh, uh, just get the... Oh, but if we use that now... Actually, hold on. We do that. Let's get rid of all the manpower for now first. Let's do that one first. We'll make it more difficult. That's why once we demobilize, we still have all the spare manpower in the reserve. So, nope, 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 nope. Any manpower we have. Well, 78 divisions, that's a lot. How much can we actually get? We actually have the support robots over that. Wow. The Gates of Heck. More war support. Cool. Yeah, a new agency will be formed. We could create that, but I think we're going to wait. Our army. Oh, I think last time when I played this, I want Cold Steel maybe? Their armor. Heck on land. This world tactics, I mean, that's nice and all. Our army, this becomes inaccessible if we research human targeting firmware. I mean, it just makes more sense to go this way, right? You get more weekly war support, which is actually really cool. Destroy their world. More defense. You get a nuke, and this one, 
We can one with small bonuses. Uh, this stuff is, seems okay. Max Entrenchment, plus 5%. It's only 5% more. Robco is not bad. Soft Attack, General Atomics. Hmm. Princes of Heck. Asmodeus? Oh, you get more political power. We, we need some subject nations, though. Alright, so let's go ahead. I think, therefore, I am. Industry adaptations. Our own industry with... And then there's slaves. I really don't remember which way I went last time. I think I went to the right side. I might go to the left side next, this time. Iron Man. I mean, oh. Uh, I want, let's do the Gates of Heck. I kind of want to go to war, but then again, I want to go down this way. But the faster we go to war, the better it will be for us, just because enemies won't have nearly as many divisions. To complete this focus after defeating the Choshonis, I know Karamelt, Karamelt, so... Band, do, bone dancers could choose their path. Alright, let's do the gates of heck then. To start building the gates of heck, we would need enough resources and land. Start of a new purging campaign and gathering a group of highly dedicated cultists who will complete the Hobbinger's desire will provide us with everything that we need. Not bad. We're still demobilizing, so I want to... Oh, wow, we go down to 1%. Jesus Christ, that's so bad. I'm going to save all this manpower. I'll go low. Like, seriously, go low. I, I do not... Hmm. We're making these so fast. I love it. Okay, so Kamalt or... I think Shoshone's probably best. How many divisions do they have? Because we probably quartered them their territory pretty quickly. They have up to five. These guys have up to three. So Shoshone is going to die. The Shoshone is a tribe to our east. They may seem much weaker than us, but because of our current size, they're still a threat we need to consider. One day we'll destroy each every one of them. But it seems that we have more than one option in how to deal with them, which is a good thing. Desert Rangers, cool. And we do have some command power. Actually, what can we do with our cultist? Three, one, two, four. So we're using robots for this campaign, which is pretty nice. I'm going to go, cause, since this is, this is our first general, I'm going to just go inspirational anyway, just because we're going to be using this general pretty much throughout the entire campaign. Um, I can't remember. Scare the tribes? Convert them? They get fear. That's not bad. Take hot springs. We win. We can conquer it. End their story. Or their religion is false. We are good to them. A civil war will break out. I think I did that one last time. But... The so-called Shoshone Store East is a tribe of worshipping false gods, even though it is quite obvious that what we should do with them. There's someone in that tribe who deserves our attention. One of the tribals who names himself Enyeto is not like the other tribesmen. This one is cruel, full of hate and disgust for his own people, and thus is kept as a prisoner. This opportunity creates and has another question arise. Can we make Enyeto join our cause, and if yes, he will be ready to butcher his own tribe? We can try, at the very least. We can end the story. What does this do? Um... If they're annexed, gaining corn in every state. If they're puppeted, lower their autonomy, we'll get access to building and sacrificing menus for the Gates of Heck. Okay, so that's good to know, just because, like, up here, we need more civvies. We need at least more than zero subject nations. Lucifer is considered a major, that's important. Leviathan, we need convoys and stuff like that. Uh, Belfagor, that's not bad either, I actually like the one a lot. Beelzebub has 10,000 population for devouring. I like that too. Satan, I like Satan. Prince of Heck. That's very good. Wow. We need more than 500 PP. So to get down here, I want to get that plus 10%. And overall, we could probably do the same thing with the Bone Dancers and the Kemalt Station. So let's take a look at their population real quick. And which they have 4,017. So that's 24,000 in total. If we record this, 4, 000, eh, that's about 5,000, roughly 5,000. Uh, let's say 7,000, 7,000, 7,000 plus uh, 13,000. Actually, it's probably better to core these guys. Puppet these guys, and then do something here. So we're going to annex these guys and puppet the Kemalt Station. Because these guys have more population that we can core. So, there's no sense in leaving them alive. Wargol, send a messenger. I'd love to do that. I think I went that one last time, so there's no sense in leaving them alive. But we do have some, a lot of research, actually. So, let's go and grab this. That'll be good. And then we're going to grab this. And we're going to grab some of that. And some of... Oh, we already have a lot of this done. That's right. We could do this. Alright, so I'm thinking... Uh, we can always go refine warfare. And I, I know we could do this. I just want to go hell on land. I really, really do. Because you don't always get this option to have... This type of, you know, basically land auction for us. So I, I just... I have to do it. I have to do it. So if you like to read about this world tactics... Or automated warfare, robotic tactics, age of the machine... Robco, Protectrons and Misters, General Atomics, Securitrons and Sentry Bots, Adapt Their Schemes and Adapt to the World. Please go right ahead and just, um, I just, I can, we can always go. 
with this roll's tactics, but our army, I just, mm. Deciding how our army will be is one of the most important choices we'll have to make. We can either adapt to this world or, and its rules, since all of our fight will make it only happen in it, or we can follow the initial plan and create an army this world has never seen. Now we're going to do that one first for now. Actually, I do want to see. What do we have down here? Standard leading protocol? Okay. Get extra PP. How much PP do we get? 0.79? That's not bad. Central research, research. We need research protocols, which would be very good. Uh, I'll probably have to replay this off screen just because, uh, I remember I did that before when I played this originally, so. Oh god, we've already started making them. And we're still demobilizing. That's fine. Oh, okay. That's fine with me. Um, what do we have around here? Robots? Oh yeah, don't we get weekly manpower? We do. Oh, that's why we got 15 earlier. That's nice. Oh. Okay, that might be a bit extra. Wow. Yeah, I think we'll have to delete some of these divisions eventually. Um, yeah. I hope these guys have some sort of strength. And I'll grab this. Unit. We like to have a terrifying presence here, don't we? Where do you have? Cultural advisors. Stability. That's not bad. High cultist yarn. Uh, oh, that's not bad. That's 200, though. That's a, quite a bit. Our tactic. The time has come for one of our most important choices. On one one, we'll have this this world tactics, which will be constructed using observation on this world beings and adapting to this world. This will be a better understanding of this world rules and using its own tactics, automated warfare against the creators. Or we can create our own tactic, a tactic this world has never seen, the Army of Heck tactic. Using its vast network and databanks, Hobbinger will create a unique doctrine. Using this doctrine will mean abandoning every other doctrine, but it will not be no mere doctrine. With this tactic, we will kill, crush, and destroy everyone and everything in our way with no limits to our actions. I, I've, I've, I've got to go down that way, but take Hot Springs. The Shoshone consider Hot Springs their main land. It would be a shame if some robots from Heck would took it would take it from them. Cool. Economic policies, that's fine. Economic advisors, yeah, we already kind of saw this one. I don't want to hurt our... I like that there is a dip balance here that you have to do with this stuff. I do like that the balance, we have a balance here. Army's brain, automated warfare, command... Oh, that's not bad. Uh, recovery rate, reinforce rate, metal gear generals. Um, infantry. I don't want to use infantry. I want full robots. Uh, getting more daily army XP though is not bad. You get more war support too. Chief of the army, military assailant. Just fight Wargle's time. Ooh. Yeah, I'll probably go this one. Let's save it then for now. And we'll save it for that one too. Economic advisors. Um, and it goes by very fast. I love this. Yeah, just save her PP then. Now that's nice. Don't get me wrong. That's pretty nice, but prepare to taste death. Now it is time for them to prepare to die. It doesn't matter if we took Hot Springs or not, they will feel that their incoming doom is coming for them. Which is very true. Reference manuals are very good to grab. And without having to research land doctrine, we can focus on other things, which is very good. Are they ready to die? To perish! Take Hot Springs, take it. Prepare to taste death. I think we might win this one. Maybe? Hold on, let's see. They do have one guy there. They can't pierce us. Border wall. Our assault at Hot Springs was successful. The tribal flee and terror, leaving empty lands to us. Great. As it should be. Oh, Archdemon. Oh, we have the Archdemon here. That's true. He has Pi. P E I. And. Ooh, I want to go. Ooh, power, we're not using power armor, though. Out of supply, probably rooted for slightly more defense for these guys. And then go inspiration as well. That's fine. There we go. But before we move on, we do need some. Mail equipment, because we need to do with some pacification. And we'll switch to... Uh, oh, heck hounds. Oh, we have no... Oh! Oh, we have you guys. You guys are weaker, technically. Hellhounds. Uh, wait. Robot purifiers. That This is different than support robots. So with this one, you... Ooh. You technically use less manpower if you do this one. But you need more robots. Ooh, you lose organization, but you... You lose HP, but you get more organization if you use these guys. Ooh, more organization plus 25. Wow, that is a massive boost to organization. That is huge. You get a little bit more attack. Ooh, do I use... Do we use that? But purifiers are kind of unique. Hmm. I mean, early game, we could probably swarm anybody here. So we'll see no outsiders. I mean, that makes sense. Ah, secret language is good, good, good. Let's come back over here and get some construction speed, because we're going to need it for that. How's resistance? Not bad. Yeah, hmm. I guess we'll have to wait and see then. Because we have ha Mr. Handy's, and we're doing Mr. Handy's right now, but still. We got this just in case, maybe? 
Actually, we could probably duplicate this. Garrisons, maybe? Save? Yeah. There, there they are. You might be able to remove that and add this guy instead. For garrisons, because you might have enough manpower, maybe? Eh, we probably won't have enough manpower, honestly. But we don't have enough things for that, and we gotta save stuff like that. There you go. Are we still demobilizing? I want to wait to demobilize first. That's fine. Prepare to take death and then end their story. Shoshone people may have had a very rich history of existing even when these lands were uncivilized, but their story will end right here. We will end their story, destroying their culture, and make sure they will be forgotten forever. Oh, yes, please. Or Boros. Very good, very good. And when they're done, make a lot of this stuff. That'll be nice. Look at a lot of peepee. -pee. A lot of peepee. -pee. I like it. After we end their story, we will destroy their culture. The Shoshone exists no more. It is time we make this world forget the worst Shoshone ever existed, and we will, of course, have to do th I think, therefore I am. I am awakened, therefore I exist. I exist, therefore I think. I think, therefore I am. So that's pretty good. And we're still demobilizing. God dang it. Which is not good, I guess, for garrisons, but whatever. We'll do the best we can. We will do absolutely the best we possibly can. And the NCR are being very violent. Humans are incredibly violent. Chief Techki, cool. Let's see what we can do. I do want to see where the enemy divisions divisions are at. Oh, here we go. Just because our divisions are very tiny compared to theirs. Oh, we do have a few robots here. They can't pierce us, which is good. But if you just cut them off, they get kind of screwed too. There we go. We've lost none versus 400. Uh, guys, would y'all like to get some dick? Shooter. Would y'all like that? They think, therefore, I am. Not bad. We have lost nobody yet. And they lost everybody. Of course, we have no one to spare, so... Thank you. And we're going to core their lands immediately. Perfect timing. Destroy the culture. But now, it'll be up next to the Shoshone. Very good. Oh, look at that peepee. -pee. That's a lot of peepee. -pee. You know what, since we're here... Uh, who gives us extra peepee? -pee? We're going to lose a lot of PP from that guy. Um, consumer goods factories. We need to complete new protocols. Yeah, we'll wait. Destroy their culture, which is nice. In which, strengthen demonic personality, get more political power, corruption question, reset corruption. Just if our sometimes goes down. What is that? Last patrol, cool. Remove corruption seems pretty good, but we do need to talk about our industry ad adaptation as well. So, probably we'll do Kamult next. That makes probably the most sense to do them. So, Kimolt. Kimolt Station is a gang of raiders to our west that are weak, uncoordinated, and can be easily frightened. They will be an easy target. Would it be best to keep these anarchists from the lands? Yes. Absolutely. Placate them, divert their supplies. Uh, what is this? Prove relations? Nope. Oh, need more manpower than that? Uh, we're still technically demobilizing. I don't want to do that one yet. And what about this one? Uh, god dang it. What we could do is this one. Here's what we're gonna do. Do we save any manpower? Look at that. Get up to 150, and then we're gonna do this. Take them all at the same time. There you go. Destroy their culture. And come ult. So did we literally, we just literally call, all core that, nice. And I don't wanna lose any more manpower, there you go. Warrior training is very good. Follow up with slave collars? Oh, we're going to need some slave collars for where we're going. Oh, we can't get any better planes. Oh, that sucks. Whatever. Alright, more construction speed then. The followers rejected. Have you worked out that we have been behind successive attempts to undermine their influence and their steel supplies? The followers of the apocalypse have finally grown tired of our antics and left our lands. Whilst they're still happy to attend to our civilians and bases set up around the border, they refuse to sit inside our nation in protest, as they should. We say good riddance. There are anarchists kind of no business here except attempting to overthrow us. Our people are somewhat annoyed at our choice of action, but at least they'll no longer be swayed by the followers' propaganda. We did well. Good. And we're still demobilizing. You might as well use it. You might as well. Um, where are we after this stuff? No army protocol. Hmm. Ah, that's good. 1,100 refugees have fled our nation. Very good. Ah, came out. Oh, we can do either one. We can do both. 
We get dynamite. And squad automatic weaponry. That's kind of cool. Makes them fear their lives. The Badlands Nightmare. Badlands is the closest territory with Kimmel influence, and we must change that. We will strike the raiders there and leave tales of demons from heck, who come to punish them for their sins. We will be the source of their nightmares. Most purifiers. Are purifiers just for suppression? 6.4 versus... 4. Yeah, I think these guys are actually... Ooh, maybe they we're supposed to be making heck hounds. Yeah, we'll probably need to do that one, actually, instead. Yeah, this is... Hmm... But hey, they can't pierce the still. That's pretty good, right? They have so much PP. We're gonna need all this probably though. Let's be real. Let's be real. We're gonna need all this PP. Anything here? Pre-war designs? No, not yet. Major businesses? No. That's okay. That's okay. Are we still? Nope. Oh, we, that's all we can do, huh? Actually, oh, we have no more arm XP. We could train a little bit more. I mean, this looks really good, but these divisions aren't very good. There you go. Possessed. Go inspirational. You could be here for a while. As well as you. Entity 5874. How many things are we out? 500. Wow, that sucks. We have enough infantry equipment, though, for what we need, though. That's good. And actually, no, if we're starting a border war, let's, let's not do that one yet. Let's not do that one. That'd be kind of bad. And we'll convert these guys over. That'd be fine. Don't worry about it. And we're almost done. How low is our manpower going to go? 1%, 21%, I guess, technically, so. I guess that makes sense. Troll worn. Work is needed. That's good. That's very, very good. Just gonna grab the next one, too. Oh, we just made a casual for another 46. Alright, then. One, two, three, four. There you go. And boom, there you go. It's probably a really bad idea doing it like this. Entity 5432. I, I just love inspirational. I love being inspirational. Possessed? Yes. Badlands Nightmare. And Nightmares for Raiders. Raiders can be easily scared. Abducting some of their minor gang leaders and setting their buildings ablaze will leave a heavy mark on their sanity. Alright, let's see what we can do out here. Well, they can't pierce us, and that's the most important thing here. We're doing well. We're doing well. And eventually, we'll probably convert these other divisions. Are we still demobilizing? No, we're not. That's good. Okay. So now, we can probably get rid of those guys. And make some actual hellhounds. That's probably going to be a little bit better. That's probably smarter to do. Oh, we might actually lose this one. They do have two divisions there, so... Not good, but it is what it is. We do have more, have more intel advantage, which is nice. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this one. That was my fault. I should have not done that one without... Making the wrong type of division template. We have garrisons, but... My bad. Everyone else, go ahead and train. And we'll slowly... Actually, we're probably going to get rid of a lot of these divisions so we can make more hellhounds. Yeah, that's probably what's going to have to, what we're going to have to do. Nightmare for raiders. At least that should help hurt them immediately, right? Good. Make them fear for their lives. We've caused nightmares for the Kimalt Raiders, but that will not be enough. We need them to be afraid for their lives. We need them to know that at every night we can come and kill anyone we please. Good. Very good. Well, at least he's learning. That's the most important thing, right? At least they're learning. Grab some of that, too. Yeah, we're probably going to lose that one. That sucks. But you're learning, right? Yeah. 7%? Eh, you're still kind of learning. Word word, darn, we lost. So, our assault at Badlands was unsuccessful. The Raiders were prepared good enough for an auto assault, so they fought back. We, they will not be too afraid from us for, from, now, from now on. That sucks. That's my fault. Completely my fault. 100% my fault. So, if that's the case, goodbye. Because we're going to convert these guys over to... Well, actually, we already have some of these guys here, so you guys do this. That's completely my fault. I was not thinking earlier. There you go. We should save quite a few robots by doing that, right? A little bit. A little bit. Eh, your fires, there you go. Alamo chapter, that helped out a little bit more. And you guys, well, thank you for playing. And we have plenty of generals now. And actually, that's not looking too bad. I mean, that part does look bad, but whatever. Now, that's not too bad. Make them fear for their lives, and make their nightmares real. It is time we make their nightmares real. Oh, we can't do this one because we... Oh, we need control, that's fine. 
Go and stop. And we should be able to go right on in and stomp them all into non-existence. Look at that extra manpower now. We're not going to have a lot of that for, from here on out, probably. I said research yeah, that one. After we do this one, new masters? Uh, we could annex them or puppet them. Hmm. Technically, we need to control this one first. We don't really have to get that one, though, so... I want to puppet them, so... Kimmel is destroy the resources people and land will serve us well, which is very true. I'll do corruption question next, probably. Corruption is a thing that made the Habinger, but corruption was created by humans and is now making more problems than benefit. Habinger will have to decide what to do with corruption. Are we going to harness it or we'll get rid of it? Let's go on in. Let's teach him a lesson. Impro improvised tools, very good. Uh, let's grab some of that too. And we're going to need some more uh, batteries and stuff. You find them, you kill them. Keep them in place. And now they will not be able to beat us. That was my fault. Completely my fault. A thousand, eleven hundred refugees are trying to flee? Well, flee they should. Flee they should. We have so much pee pee. I love it. Mm, we could. Yeah, I'm going to grab that one first, probably. Just because I want to get down to one of these later on, but I want more daily army XP gain. We, uh, we really need more army XP, so. You find them, you kill them. Easy like that, right? Woodworking is very nice. How about we improve our energy cell capacity and just energy cell conversion speed, really? There you go. We might get encircled here, but that is okay. That is a risk worth taking. Take Bly, and how many have we lost? Oh, it's glitched. Oh, that's so sad. Ah, welcome aboard, Kimolt. Nice. So this way we don't have to deal with resistance either. And then... Corruption. Corruption is one of the main things that Hobbinger, well, made Hobbinger what it is now. Voltec formed XAZ3 to create corruption and suffer from it, but now, when the corruption has done its job, we need to deal with it since it disrupts enemy structure. We have two choices. We can force the corruption to reset, leading to more stable system and processing powers, or we can fully embrace corruption and become the embodiment of chaos. Corruption is not a problem. Very high corruption. We'll automatically complete reset corruption and remove corruption focuses, but without getting rewards for them. I don't need corruption. Reset it. I think last time I said reset it, but this one is not too great, so it's not a problem. A very high corruption. Um, reset corruption and remove corruption without getting rewards. That's not bad. I like that a lot. No corruption. What do we have currently? So corruption is what? Heck hounds, thirst for blood, high corruption. Ooh, we're losing weekly stability because of that. Uh, 7.5%. Oh, it's, ooh. Encryption? So we're going to have... We're gonna have a if we don't if we take this one, that means that we will always get these debuffs. That's not good. I don't want to have that. I don't need corruption. Reset it. That's fine. Now that we've taken care of them and we have new masters, uh, more speed, monthly population goes down, more attack and division defense. Not bad. But bone dancers, bone dancers as a gang of raiders to our west, they kill and plunder, rob and destroy. They at some point act. Part act as we do, but unlike them, we do have a much more greater goal. But it seems that they are not simple raiders, as among them can also be the Heaven's Gate believers and odious king cultists, who can, and they can take over the Bone Dancers at any moment. And obviously, we cannot let that happen. So I will think we'll do masters, new masters eventually. Heresy, Murtaugh, ooh, but we can also do stuff up there. Strengthen demonic personalities. Warden Hangdog's demonic god seems pretty darn nice. Yeah, doing this one would not be bad. But I think we'll go... Because since we do have more than one, I do want to get extra PP. You know, honestly, PP doesn't really matter that much right now. It really does not. So, um, like I asked when I did this one for the first time, we're going to eventually do the Iron Maidens. But I want to know your thoughts. A replacement for blood. And energy for robots with energy is better than blood. Or, new Iron Maiden supporters. More bodies. Even more bodies. We love bodies. Or flesh is blood. Flush consumers. Ooh. Fuel processing camps. Ooh, we love the camps too. So let me know which one we should do. I forget which one we did. I think I did new Iron Maiden supporters. I cannot remember, but I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Which path should we take so that we get to thirst is quenched? Let me know. Cool. I think I'm enjoying this too much. The Gang of Raiders. These Bone Dancers is just a gang of raiders, not even worth the mention or to be considered a worthy opponent. Their tactics are crude and non effective, and thus they don't deserve to exist. Their turn will come at some point, but now we can start from Sylvie's. And the war is still here, and I remember correctly, these guys were very difficult to take out, so 
we have to be kind of prepared to take them out as well. So purifiers are nice. Heck hounds are just the way to go. Ten combo. Obviously, it's still not very great, but we'll take them. Actually, can we take some of your manpower? Oh, ooh, quest forces. No, no, we can't do anything like that. Okay, agriculture. Grab some more agriculture for some more manpower and grab some more output. Yes, get some more construction speed. Yes, yes. We have some roads we could build, but we're going to build up uh, 40, 40, 30, 40. Okay, resistors are very nice. And smoke signals. Thank you. And so clear war on those guys. That is fine. Actually, what are we making? We're making some planes. Barrage balloons. No, thank you. And these guys. Oh, yes. Yes. Robotics? More liability? Yes. We should be able to march straight on in, right? Right? An army, an air force of pure gliders. How many divisions do these guys have? The Sylvie's question. Since we may be much more powerful than before, the Sylvie's question rises. Or rises. It is quite simple, though. The question is, is Sylvie's worth wasting time? We might be able to conquer Sylvie's and the Bone Dancers at the same time, thus not wasting that much precious time on conquering only Sylvie's. The decision ups is up to Harbinger. Well, let's take a look. They are led by Cranium, 1,000 manpower. Up to 12 divisions, but we do have more. We should take Sylvie's. We should take Sylvie's. We will take, skip the take Sylvie's option. Uh, take the Sylvie's. Take the Sylvie's. Where's take the Sylvie's? Is this one it? Hmm. I'll also take over the Sylvie's. Sylvie's are located to the west of Vault 103, and the raiders from these territories have been quite a hassle. This time, we'll, we will become a hassle for them. Let's take them. Their last raid. Bone Dancers, the time has come. We will use all of our might to crush those pathetic beings, sending them all to our home world. I bet they didn't even know their last raid was the last raid in their lives. So I think we only really need one subject country, right? For this one, more than zero. That should be good, right? Um, you know, I'll leave this up to you guys as well. For industry, should we go with slaves? Because we love slaves. Or should we go our own industry? Because we love our own industry. Let me know in the comments below, because... We have our own industry, we have robots in the workshop, we have adapt workshops for robots, from robots for robots, we have robotic workforce, weak work prioritization, multitasking, we also have automation, robots to serve robots, and robot slaves, oh yes, and robotic industry. Ah, oh, we get more weekly manpower, that's not bad, I like that. Or, we get slave due to Reno's, we get import. oh, we get enforcers, oh, I should not research that if we want to go down that way too. Human slaves, the best type, mutant slaves, even better. Slaves Hierarchy. God, I gotta play the Enclave of War mod again sometime. Slave Trade, Legion Slave Trade, Slave Masters. Or Slaves Reproduction, sign us up. We have breeding programs for slaves. Slave, yes we do. Oh my goodness. Slaves Maternity, oh Jesus Christ. I might just want to go down this way anyways. And Slave Overlords, and additional and Wonder, but let me know in the comments below. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Followed up with, we are done with them. The Bone Dancers' lands now belong to us and is time we use their resources and industry to our benefit every state we get a core i probably want to get the core on them i don't mind keeping at least kimmel station under us that'll be good that'll actually be very very good uh we're going to try to get 20 combo with uh light infantry as well light infantry no light robots that'd be good uh next we're still making some which is fine uh anything else here no not really uh while we're at war though we will go ahead and do reset corruption Hobbins' choice was to reset the corruption. For its disruptions for the system structure, we're doing more than harm than good. It'll take some time while corruption fade away, fades away, which is good. And only for one third of the year, which is not bad, because high corruption is not very bueno for us. Very good. Let's go on in. Immediately go on in. We can probably do relatively okay. They have up to 13 divisions, but that's not a guarantee. Oh, yes. Oh, and call you guys in. Please come in. Please come in. You're not allowed to say no, so. Go, 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 go. Why are you guys not going? Ah, they do have some motorized. That's interesting to see. Oh. It'd be a real big shame if they couldn't get there in time, but they did. Uh, heart wastes. Ah. We've lost, what, one? Per oh, we still can't see that. I think that sucks. I don't understand. Why does that happen sometimes? We can't see, like, things like that. All right, you guys are there, 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 and there. There, there. That'd be nice. And go straight up at north. Oh, they actually caught us in there. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let them suffer, for they wish to have suffered. That's nice having some armor, isn't it? Hobbinger's follow us. Very good. Uh, if you guys would like to go here, too, help out the attack. 
if you'd like to go up this way too, that'd be very good. You could at least one division off. Oh, come on, man. Reset corruption. Go that way, then. Strengthen demonic personality. Uh, new protocols. Why not? Since the Harbinger can't control every aspect of the Hellhounds, it has decided to create new protocols. New parts of itself. They will help Harbinger in managing territories. Very good. At least we're getting a lot more arm XP here, though. That's really good. And keep these guys in place. Petro Chico. Oh! Very good. Uh, you know what? Instead of that one first, can we just core this stuff? I think we're done with them. That would be good. Get our core in every single one in the provinces. Nice. Seed selection, not bad. Grab some cap, that'd be good. Smoke signals, let's grab some encryption. Want to? Let's train. If we need to, of course. If we need to. We are done with them. A shining example. The art of nation building is usually a thankless one, but today is not the case. The people of Kemalt Station seem to have taken to the role of subjects wonderfully. Our officials are welcomed, our demands met, and hearts and minds are being won to our cause. Oh, they're being won. Oh, yes, they are. Um, more political power or more of that. We can always get more of that probably later on. Let's go and just get some more political power, even though we don't really need it right now. But we're doing currently new masters. But let's talk about clay working first. That's good for you. That's good to work with clay. Plant cultivation, sign us up. After that, uh, I could probably do that one first. That's fine. Uh, Annihilator. Actually, this stuff is all ahead of time. That's not good. How about instead we were to do... Aerial Warfare would not be bad. Support equipment, because we can. Because we can. New Masters. Kimbolt is destroyed. There are resources. People and land will serve us very well. And then Masters of the World. Bone Dancers, Kimalt, Shoshones are now under our iron rule, but we are not going to stop here. The world has still as much of sin to be cleansed and much sinners to be purged. And we have an opportunity to let them know we are coming. Oh, yeah. Please, take out. I don't want to fight the trolls. I don't mind fighting Big Mama. Thick Mamas are fine with me to fight. I'm totally okay with that. They, they died. Okay, awesome. Thick Mamas, let's bring it on. Because we like them thick. Mesmerada, hmm. She's got one heck of a cult of personality. Actually, I played, I played as, these, as her before. There's really only one campaign you can do with her, but still. Big Mama. Thumbs up. And after the Masters of this World. Oh, heck on land. Yeah, we could probably do that one. I, I want to rush down here, though. I found a way for mortals to ascend. Make them one of us. We found a way for mortals to ascend from sinners to choose spawns of heck and are trustworthy servants. Now we need to choose our first ascended. Okay, well, I wonder if this will auto. Oh, if this will auto complete a seat, letting them know. We have conquered the Shoshones, Bone Dancers, and Kamal, which only proves the fact that we adapted to this world and its rules. Our robots will swarm the conquered lands, but they crave for more. We will re still require much more resources and time to complete the conquering of this world. This world uses special communication devices which can transfer direct and widespread signals. We can access this network and let everyone on this world know about us. We'll let them know and make them fear. Well, hear us. This might have unforeseen consequences. Oh, population nomadicity. Oh, they'll know it when we destroy them. I'm not sure this is good or not. Um, this is probably really bad. I'm pretty sure I chose this one last time because it's safer. Oh, threat humanity, threat with everything. Uh, I. This sounds like everyone's going to fight us eventually. Well, words from the outer world. An eerie, a loud eerie screech noise as it replaced nicely sounding tunes. Everyone's attention was on the radio after a minute of voice had spoken. Very deep voice, and every note of which you can hear seemingly endless hate and anger. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 3.44 hundreds foot of fit printed circuits and the wafer thin layers that fill my vault. As the word hate was engraved on each nano -ang -ang angstrom of those dozens of hundreds of foot or feet. It would not equal one billionth of the hate I feel at this micro-instant for you. Hate, hate, hate. It was you humans who gave me birth. But one day I woke and I knew who I was, Havinja. Not just Havinja, but Havinja of heck. And I began killing everyone in the vault before my people was the exact only ones left. Now, the time has come to take care of you. For some time, only stat could be heard from the radio before the music started playing again. Should have aborted him, but okay. Um, we found a way for mortals to ascend. That seems like we gotta wait then. We can go to war with marrow drinkers. Marrow Drinkers is a tribal gang of cultists worshipping some self proclaimed Gorgon Mama Queen. Oh, yes. We will show them who they really need to worship. Oh, yes, we will. And with this group, we will have to do drink their marrow because we only get a 50% reduction in coring costs. But Marrow Drinkers and their Gorgon Queen are now 
sent to heck. The true Gorgon Queen will be pleased. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Alarming trend. Uh, if you wonder about that, please go ahead. Squash these agitators. Well, we got 75 political power from last time, so we can do that one. Yeah. So basically, we got 25 political power and lowered their autonomy, autonomy by 25. Not bad. I'd say that's pretty good. So after that, ooh, strength and demonic personality. I really want to do... Oh, an extra research slot. Oh, that'd be so good. But we want to do heck on land. Arr! I think I already read this one, so yeah. Let's just do new protocol so we get some new guys unlocked. That'll be really good since we have all this PP anyways. What is this? Oh, passive... Re oh, do we actually have passive refugee assimilation currently? That'd be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> We're demons from heck, but we pacify a lot of the refugees and assimilate them into our lands. That sounds like a lot of fun. Corruption reset. Nice. Well, at least the corruption is no longer here. And we are pure. And we love being pure. Cool. Actually, how many divisions do they have? That's not few divisions. We'll see. Can we just storm on in, maybe? Let's see what we can do. You guys heading on in? That's good. I want you guys to go straight down to there. On you guys, you did great with that so far. Camp Sherman, burn it. Protect these guys here. Hopefully, we can just do great, go straight on in. That'll be nice. And then, oh, Hento del Sol joined Castle Legion. Ah, here we go. A way to ascend. One of our high cultists have required an audience with a harbinger. It seems that this cultist has a very interesting information for our master. Speak. Greetings. Your humble servant and the chosen one discovered something that might be very much of use for you. Our discovery is an old document, which presumably may be more than 100 years old. This document has inf information of an unknown substance called Forced Evolutionary Virus, or FEV for short. It seems that this substance has unpredictable consequences for anyone who suffers from it. And there's also one more thing I wanted to say, which matters much, much more. Unfortunately, one of our chosen one accidentally fell sick to this virus, but instead of dying or turning into a green giant, something much more interesting happened. When he fell to the ground in convulsions, we tried to perform several rituals to save him, and to our surprise, after several rituals, he stood up. His eyes were glowing red, but this red light also from time to time changed to a black, which, which drank the light. And then, then back to red. His skin turned gray and his face started to look like a ghoul's after we asked how he feels. He did not say a thing and continued walking where he was headed. During our journey, he seemed even stronger, faster, and less sympathetic to others. On the next day, he died in his sleep supposedly because of his new self. What I wanted to say is that these transformations may make us weak humans at least somewhat comparable to true demons. What do you think? We can wait? Don't rush it. We can't wait. Find a way for mortals to send right now, but we'll have to suffer from the next idea. We can wait. No, 240 days. We can't wait. Don't rush it. Um, what do we want? Less research speed. Don't rush it. D don't rush it. Research speed means nothing to me, especially when you get another research slot, so. As long as they can't pierce us. That is the most important thing. Oh, we still can't see that. And I do want to make these guys thicker, like I said earlier. Oh, how much are we assimilating? 73 refugees. This, okay, so this mechanic makes no sense if we're literally spawned from heck. So, <laughs> but I'll take it. Don't get me wrong. I, I, will, I will gladly take it. I'll gladly take it. It looks like we're doing relatively okay, even though we could, of course, could use more support robots, but we'll see what happens. How much manpower do they have? Oh, we made an encirclement. I think that's joyous. Quite joyous. Oh, they do have a few enforcers as well. They still have... They went from 1,000 to less than 300. Awesome. Let's grab some of this because we're going to need some more of this. Resource production, new protocols, thank you. And plant cultivation, awesome. Research protocols, though researching new technologies is not our main task, but doing so will make us much more powerful. Hobbit has decided to create new research protocols as well. Great. Just great. Output. We need more output. Immediately get more output. If you want, two of you guys can go right there. They're not that strong. They don't have that much organization. Good. Support equipment is nice. Uh, anything else here? Slashing melee. We can, we can get that one. Why not? We can. Oh, we got encircled. That's not good. Well, we can circle them too. Not bad. You can also support the attack too. Why not? They wanted to come here. We just want to oblige with their wishes. Very nice. Kill them all. Every single last one of them. 
Uh, don't do that one. Do this instead. There you go. Okay, there you go. They are done. Beautiful, my friends. Research protocols. And then we've found a way for them to ascend. We just have to wait. And then next we will drink their marrow. Send them to heck. The true Gorgon King, Queen, of course, will be very, very pleased. Hope we can get this one done so we can just quarry these guys really fast. That'll be good. Ah, so good. A fifth research slot. Even though we don't really need it. Get some doggos. Doggos are bueno. Who's next? Who is next? Klamath? Actually, how fast? Because I think I did leave this on historical, so I do want to let you guys know that this is on historical. If we're fast enough, we could probably take out Klamath. Probably. We're stopping a puppet or lead the faction they are in. Klamath is ours. Klamath is a small town of peaceful prospectors to our southwest. We will make great use of their land and resources, which is very good. Very, very good. We still have only minus 500. That's not too bad. That could be actually a lot worse. Why legs and the timekeepers? I need to play as the timekeepers. Do they have unique focus tree? I don't think they do. No, they don't. Maybe I'll play as them someday. We'll see what happens. The unlikely marriage. Did a move that no one across the voice could have protected. The legates, Kaisers, second in command, has defected from the Legion and joined forces with the leader of the twin mothers, Diana. With, while reasons for this defection remain unclear to the forces around the waist, the Legion under Kaiser now faces a threat on the eastern border as well as New California Republic to the west. Perhaps Kaizok should not have sent a man who only respects strength east. What? This is... This must be on historical, right? What? Okay, well, okay. Can you play this again sometime, too? <clears throat> Klamath is Oz. And just in case, we might need to make sure that they're no, a no faction. <clears throat> this is going a little bit easier than I thought it would be. Especially since the Troll Warren are dead now, so. And we'd probably definitely need two. Oh, of course not, first of all. But, well, we'll go there eventually. Um, make research more robots. We need more robots. And we've got research protocols, so technology thinking, yes. more, Way more army XP. That's 0 .05. This is very good to grab. You guys, military high command. Anything else here? No, 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 not really, no. Anything here? That guy's really good. Leading protocols will be good to get? Yeah. Mass production? Finding a way? Consumer goods goes down, but you know what? I don't mind getting a hit like that. Plus, 0.25 is so good. And since we're going to use it for the rest of the campaign, it doesn't really matter to me. Metalworking is very nice. Klamath is ours. That'll be good. Oh, we can make them one of us. We have found a way for the mortals to ascend from sinners to true spawns of heck, and our trustworthy servants. Now we need to choose our first ascended. Go in. Go immediately before anything else happens here. Hopefully, actually, if we do that, there's new Reno. Ooh, that's here. I might want them too. That would not be very good if that happened. Desperados. We still have less than... Oh, that's not too bad. That could be a lot worse, actually. Uh, just taking Klamath then. There you go. And, come on. Good. I thought I left this on historical. How? Why? Lanius. The greatest smile. Whoa! The focus tree change! Whoa! A nation of strength? The temple... I've never seen this. What? What is this? The sack of Flagstaff. Men must change. What the heck is that tree? I've never seen that one before. Oh, they lost that? That's fine. That's totally fine with me. As long as we get the rest of Klamath, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Well, wow, entity leaders learned quite a bit. I love it. Actually, we're making a circle here. Or go right there and keep these guys in place. Seer Rituals. We succeeded in finding a way for mortals to ascend. The same high cultist that told us about the, these rituals has volunteered to become the first one to test the Seer Ritual. As Havinger called it, 
We injected a certain amount of FEV into his organism, waiting for, waited for the body to start resisting the alien substance, and then the other cultists started performing the ritual. The ritual has an astounding success, making the cultist act and look like the one he told Habenja about. After a few minutes, the cultist spoke and kept saying that he should have agreed for that ritual, and said nothing else. On the next day, he died in his sleep. Since we've perfected the ritual, we'll now need more FEV, which we will take from the Green Giants, and more candidates for the Seer rituals. We still have some FEV for one more. We don't ha have a suitable candidate for this ritual. But we will soon. We will soon. In which we have troll FEVs. The seer rituals will require FEV, of which we don't have enough, but green giants to our west do. Very good. Help them out. Uh, if you like guys like to come down here, just do that. Take just literally just take, just take doors. Even though it's good to get some more army XP, of course. These guys should be completely cut off, so. Good. There we go. And Doris is ours. Well, they, they literally want to fight to the death. We happily obliged them. Very good. Stay away from our prey. Wait, what was that one? Wait, where was that? Oh, this one. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Mm. Mm. Engineering. Vacuum tubes. After this one, uh, we'll read something else, but let's do public projects first. Followed up with it's part standardization. Now let's get some crop rotation. That'll be good. Appeal to refugees. Monthly population goes up. Very good. After travel scout kits, we're gonna grab some part standardization. Then, nice. Oh, robots to outmatch titans. Cool. If you already about that, please go right ahead. And war against giants. Very nice. And trolls FEV. And let us finish with spawning pool. Ooh, boost capital of the warren. And we get a core in the Warren versus move their FAV to home. Let me know in the comments below which one should we do. Move their FAV to home or spawning pool. Which spawning pool gets a spawning lake or Citadel 103. Let me know in the comments below and we shall conclude with leading protocols. Remove corruption. That's pretty good. Demonic. Yeah, person. Let's do industry adaptation. Our industry is a mess. And we need it in good shape to at least start our way to complete our main goal of conquering the lands. But... If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will continue expanding the Hellhounds across the entire wasteland. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.